Happy Saturday, you guys. I know it's Saturday and you probably have way more excited things to do than to watch me turn this Ikea bookcase into this beautiful sideboard. But if you don't, watch how I start it from the bottom now of here. Bum, bum. So this picture right here is my inspiration, you guys. I said, oh my God, it's so beautiful. But then I saw that price and I was like, oh my God, hell no. I got inspired by a few YouTube videos and decided that I can do this. So I got this Ikea bookcase to start the process. I definitely feel like this part is important because y'all only see the cute side of things. Y'all never see me struggling trying to get my groceries, my furniture, none of that upstairs. And y'all, I don't have an elevator and I'm on the third floor. But somebody got to do it, I guess. So let's get started. So here is the Ikea bookcase all put together. And before you head on over to Home Depot or Lowe's, you want to make sure you get the correct measurements for the door sizes. The overall thickness of my doors is about two inches. You don't want to go anything lower because the doors will not close if they're too thin. These are the actual trimmings you will need, but I actually cut them at Home Depot because they were six feet and wouldn't fit in my car. So you have to know your measurements going to this store, you guys. So right here, I am measuring four and a half inches between each trimming. Now, once you figure the measurements out, you want to get some wood glue and glue the trimming down. And to secure those trimmings, you're going to need some nails, particularly picture hanging nails. So now we're going to go ahead and close off the tops by measuring and then using your jigsaw to have like a precise cut. I did use a sander to sand these sides because the sides were a little rough. So again, I am securing the trimming. I do believe I did the trimming wrong. Instead of cutting them in an angle, I cut them straight across. So I had to come up with something because I was not starting over. So what you see is me putting down dry decks. I figured it would work because it's the same stuff you use to patch up holes in the wall before you start to paint. I chose to color my Ikea bookcase into a very navy blue. I did about four to five coats because you want to make sure that it is very rich in color. Next, I'm going to color these legs that I got from Amazon. They come in a four pack for about $16. Now, you can't tell me that color don't look sexy. Look at it. Yes, you did that, sis. Now, go on here to color the other side of those doors. Now, I'm going to get my door handle that I also got from Amazon. As you can see, they were about $15 each, and I needed two of them. Now, you're going to measure the door handle so that you can get the correct measurements to apply it to your door. Now, look at it. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Isn't she lovely? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So now we need our cabin hinges. And I got these from Amazon as well, but they did not work. I ended up going to Lowe's to get some bigger ones because my cabinets wouldn't close all the way. So I had to be real ghetto and put some tape in there in order for them to close. And I didn't want that, so... Now I am attaching the legs to the bottom of the bookcase. But just like life, another problem occurred. I had to figure it out. So, watch this. When I open this door, it falls. <laughs> so, yeah. I was so mad when that happened the first time because it broke my singing statue that I brought from at home that is no longer in stock. Ugh. I decided that I'm going to get some more legs. So I got these legs from Amazon instead. So let's go ahead and get to work. I'm gonna switch out these legs. That's how it was before. But now we upgrading to gold, baby. Because remember, everything I touch is gold. I don't really care about the bottom. I know y'all looking at the bottom like, yeah, it ain't colored. But I don't care. You can't see the bottom. Shoot. Sure. I'm finally done, you guys, from switching out the hinges, the legs, and also breaking my singing statue that is no longer in stock. But guess what? We started from the bottom. Now we here. Thank you guys for tuning in and see you next time. If you want to get in contact with me, you go to my Instagram at Shantario Music and go ahead and DM me if you have any questions, messages, or inquiries. Have a nice Saturday, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the love. Keep it coming. <clears throat> oh, if you're still there, that is me that you see on the TV screen. So go ahead and support you, girl. The video is called I Hope You're Happy Karma by Shantario. Duh.